welcome back guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about immunocytochemistry or it's an abbreviated form ICC immunocytochemistry is extensive portion of another technique we've seen already that is immunohistochemistry right now first of all what is the difference between them both the techniques remember both of the techniques focuses on to find out antigen in cell or specific proteins inside cell by using antibody we use antibody to fish out antigens that is present inside the cell both of the techniques immunohistochemistry immunocytochemistry but the idea that immunohistochemistry use is more of a perspective of uh, the physiological diagnosis of different diseases right diseases like uh, malignancy for a particular cell or different cell types so we use that immunohistochemistry process to take out the tissue sample make a section of it fixing it in the slide applying i mean uh, applied antibodies to finally make them bound with the antigen of our of our interest and to make a signal that yes the antigen is either present in the cell or not in the cell right we can find the biomarkers in those different cells which are related with disease so we can diagnose a disease using immunohistochemistry on the other hand immunocytochemistry focuses on to find out again to find out the antigens that are present inside the cell right but more of an experimental perspective rather than diagnostic perspective because this process usually combined with the cell culture of animal okay so use mammalian cell culture so once we take different types of cell culture let's say one cell line made with you know kidney cell line or cell liver cell line so we take such kind of cell line and we want to see the development and production of antigen in different compartments inside the cell so what kind of antigens are expressed by different regions of the cell at different conditions they are exposed to let's say we are studying cancer cells let's say we are studying lung cancer so we have a lung cancer cell line so we check that cell line during different time gap we take that cell and finding the place of antigens expressed by the cell and what are the different compartments in the cell that are expressing that antigen with different time duration and that thing we can detect with immunohistochemistry immunocytochemistry instead of immunohisto because in this case we taking the cell directly from cell culture so the cell that we are dealing is fresh the cell we are dealing it's without almost any extracellular matrix it's just the cell that we are detecting and we apply the same knowledge to find out the antigen we use primary antibody to fish out the antigen in that cell to find out figure out where exactly the antigens are present for this particular disease at this duration of the disease so this is more of an experimental use than diagnosis physiological use right so we use this in lab both of them but immunohistochemistry is used morely to detect the disease that we have or not in diagnostic centers now in this case the idea also remains the same so we have remember we have here cell culture this is the mammalian cell culture let's say the lungs we have problem with the lung cell let's say whether they are cancerous or not we take one of this cell and we fix that cell or place that cell in a slide or sometimes we simply place it uh, in uh, the petri dish also in media that can also be done but majorly we need to fix it before applying uh, the antibody solution there so we have the cell out there and once the cell is fixed now then what we do we add some antibody to finally detect the specific let's say specific antigens that is only being expressed by two different compartments in the cell we don't know which part of the cell produce that antigen and exactly at what time so we take this cell from cell culture at different time duration and we want to add and check in to find those antigens whether the antigens are present or not we know what antigen we are finding we know that antigen once you know that antigen we can design an antibody that can find that antigen because antigen and antibody specific interaction is allowing us to do so remember this antigen antibody specific interactions these are a blessing to modern science for diagnosis the millions 
of other experiments can be done with this process okay now what we do we add that antibody specifically bind with this antigen that we want to find so let's say this is the antibody we add that antibody now this antibody binds with the region a specific antigen and this antibody are modified remember because these antibodies are interacted i mean they are attached with a enzyme or fluorescent tag at the fc region remember this is the fc region of antibody so they are modified antibody if ab is free to interact with the antigen of desire while fc region is modified and it is now attached with either enzyme or fluorescent tag fluorescent dye so say enzyme say alkaline phosphatase alkaline phosphatase enzyme it can be horch redis peroxidase enzymes so whatever this is this enzymes let's say this is this is now attached with the enzyme so now once we add this antibody this is the second step after that we wash the unbound antibodies out so those those antibodies which are attached with the antigen will firmly attached okay rest of them are washed off then we add the substrate for those and and for the enzyme and the enzyme will convert the substrate into product which give us color and we can measure the color in a particular wavelength right or we can simply see the color and if we are looking that using a fluorescence and using a fluorescence microscope because this whole thing is in slide we can observe them in fluorescence microscope if we use a fluorescent tag instead of an enzyme simply we can visualize which part of the cell is expressing the antigen of our desire and that is hugely important so remember that once you prepare the slide adding all these things and looking under the fluorescence microscope we see the portions of the cell expressing the specific biomarker for the cancer development in this case if the cell is cancerous in the lung tissue we can see that using mammalian cell culture taking out the cell so remember and then different time gap if you want to see the antigenic expression you will see let's say after certain time the antigen expression is different from a different cell different region of the cell so what we can find we can create a map of antigenic expression from different compartments of the cell in different time duration while the cancer is developing so it can form our our idea about the development of a disease like cancer so hugely important in cancer research and, and as well as different uh, research involving immunological disorders and problems right so that's why we can use immunocytochemistry for this process right immunohistochemistry remains the same of this antibody and how this this process remains the same but actually it is used for diagnosis take out the tissue sample directly fix it in the slide applying modified antibody see the result as a color or fluorescence okay but in this case immunocytochemistry we use cell directly from cell culture media right more artificial this one right but immunohistochemistry is more less of artificial we use to detect det i mean diagnosis perspectives okay and this is experimental perspective so these are the advantages and disadvantages in both these cases immunohistochemistry and immunocytochemistry works best together because if we study one thing or different feature of a cell antigen expression pattern of a cell which we also called as immunopositive signal from different regions of the cell for a growing disease we can apply that knowledge to find that same thing in different tissues in direct cell or tissues that we take out from human body so we can apply the knowledge of immunocytochemistry to detect the antigen using immunohistochemistry right so that's all about immunocytochemistry if you like the video hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more interesting video like this thank you